Well, hi there everyone, and welcome back to Feed the Beast Monster, where we are still up here in the industrial craft room. If you've been watching the last few episodes, you know we've been making solar panels. It's been going on a few episodes now, but I am having fun. We are up to, I will just look, 57 solar panels. That's really rather good. Now, what are our limitations? Well, for one, we are running out of power, that's not too bad. What I have made is a load of overclocker upgrades, which will just drain the power even more, because that will be fun. And just to get these working better. Now, solar panels. The thing with solar panels is, this is going to kill my power, obviously they take up a lot of room. If I was to take those however many I just said, 50-something solar panels, and pop them all out, they'll take up an awful lot of room. Obviously, I can compress them to make the solar arrays. If we come up here to my very untidy set upstairs, I have this, which is a low-voltage solar array. I've got a low-voltage solar array here as well, and some solar panels. That is everything powering that room at the minute. My ultimate aim is to automatically craft the solar arrays. Yes, all the way up to a high voltage solar array. I want to automatically create high voltage solar arrays and have them in stock for whenever I might want them. So if I take one out of my ME system, it will simply make another. So we are a good part of the way there, because we have spent a few episodes making the most awkward part, which are these, the solar panels. To convert them up, you just take a set of solar panels, surround a low voltage transformer, and you get the solar array. That continues all the way up. You take a set of low voltage solar arrays, surround them a medium voltage transformer, you get the medium solar array, and you take a set of those medium voltage solar arrays, get them around a high voltage transformer and you get the high voltage solar array. So the only thing we have to do is make the three sorts of transformers to start with. The low voltage one is relatively easy. We are making tin cable already. We do need to make a coil, but that's not too difficult. The medium voltage one is the one with the machine blocks. I don't believe we are actually making machine blocks anywhere, so we'll have to make machine blocks and that. The high voltage one is by far the most awkward. We will need to make the insulated gold cable. We will be making those anyway. And an advanced RE battery. That will be hugely annoying. But I think we can at least work on these basic two for now. So let's head on downstairs. Because pretty much all of this will be crafting, which means we can do it all here. I will use my new favourite technique of plucking down things going straight up like this. So we need to make up these coils. The coils are made up from an insulated copper cable and an iron ingot. So I'm going to need a load of these. Fortunately we are now starting to make lots. Go on, tell me I had iron on me. I did not. That will need an iron ingot. What will the medium voltage need? It will need iron plating. Now iron plating is something I think I'm getting through quite badly at the minute. Yes, it is, isn't it? I'm not making enough iron plate to cover demand. At all. I shall nick a little bit out of here and wait for some to come back. Right, the low voltage so the low voltage transformer requires a coil. A coil is just that. So that one shall be easy. Uh, we will require a hole through the floor. Uh, not that low actually, just that low. That can come up by one. And run like that. I shall put a bit of marble into the floor. Just to neaten things up a little. ME cabling. Right, export buses. 
you go all the way up here. And this particular one is going to export that and iron. when it has a redstone signal and it will make coils and as ever a set of these up and this one wants to make coils just 64 of them I think will do quite happily right this is the one which is going to actually take these coils plonk them in the middle was it? It's on the side isn't it? No it's in the middle surround with wooden planks and insulated tin cables. Those are being made wherever I'm making the RE batteries. So insulated tin cables go in here at the top I believe and wooden planks. We get plenty of jungle wood planks, so that is no problem. Is it jungle wood planks around like that? Of course it is not, and of course that will fill up immediately. There's more insulated tin there. And there we are starting to make low voltage transformers. Now obviously we need to put in an import bus on this, so that we're starting to get those coils coming through and we're struggling for that tin. That doesn't really matter. We will start to make the low voltage transformers. Right, can I... This is getting exported somewhere first, isn't it? So let's just nab a bit so it makes one. There we go. So we are now making the low voltage transformers. Another thing which we are going to need to make is iron plating. We are not getting much iron plating through. Right, so into this one we want to export iron plating with a signal. That iron plating will go to make machine casings. Nice and easy. So low voltage transformers, we want to keep in 64 low voltage transformers, that's our normal rule. So a precision import bus. Now if we can make one of those, I would be really impressed. Do I actually have some machine casings? I have machine casings anyway. So a machine casing combined with, this is the one with copper wire in, two pieces of copper wire. So export basic machine casings and copper wire into that when you have a redstone signal. And what you will make is a medium voltage transformer. Brilliant. So you are the one working on machine casings. I want 64 machine casings. And you are the one working on low voltage solar arrays. You have been pre-programmed very good. So I shall just get you to whip together a medium voltage transformer for me. Thank you very much. Right, we are going to have another row which is going to go up here. And this will be pretty much our final roll that I'm going to do here. That is in perfectly the wrong place, isn't it? Let's whip you out, swip these around. But the... no, no, that is wrong. Come out please, I'm using the wrong tool for doing that. Put that in, put my illuminator in and light you up there. That's fine, that is fine. Okay, so I'm going to want a set of export buses along here. This one is going to make low voltage solar arrays. 
uh, I can ask it to export solar arrays actually into here just to get them all. There we go. It also needs a low voltage transformer. So export low voltage transformers into the middle. Why is that not letting me click? Something has gone horribly wrong and I do not know what it is. That low voltage transformer is unhappy. Why is that low voltage transformer unhappy? Will it go into here? It will go into there. It will go into there. If I grab it I've got two low voltage transformers. I sincerely hope this will not mess up because if it will it will be hugely annoying. This thing is not going to accept putting a low voltage transformer in. Oh that is very annoying. That is very very annoying. Okay let us try the cyclic assemblers. Now the problem with the cyclic assemblers normally is that they fill up But obviously, with what I'm making here, they shouldn't really do that because I should be making these in a good enough way. As in, there shouldn't be an overstock of anything. Okay, um, I'm trying to make cyclic assemblers which are part of thermal expansion. Now, what these used to work is something called a blueprint I think. It's been a while since I made one of these. It's right there. It's a schematic as it's called. That's why I can't find it. Right, schematics. I should be able to rename these. Right, I believe down there we have hardened energy conduit as well. So let's find somewhere to test this out. Oh, I've run completely out of room. They're going to go in here. Right, so we are going to now put in one of these. Up here like this. The ME cabling can just drop through the floor and come up the side. That's fine. Loop around the front of it or something. So, oh, I hope I have enough ME cabling to do this. I narrowly have exactly the right amount. Except I'm really going to need one more. Is there any more ME cabling in the system? Oh, I've made absolutely tons. Wow. Wow, system. I didn't realise you'd done that. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, a cyclic assembler. You are going to sit just there. Now, in your schematic, you are filling up with energy. That is good. You need a schematic. Can I reprogram my schematic? It is currently for jungle wood, but what I want it to be is a low voltage transformer and a set of solar panels makes a low voltage solar array. Yes, that is what it has now changed to. That is fine. I can do it this way. Now obviously these are going to take up space. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 spaces. That means if at any time I make more than, let's turn this down, let's just ask it to keep 10, oh, 16, 16 low voltage transformers in stock at all times. 
that means this will never fill up. Solar panels are being made up to 128. If I set this down to just 64, oh, I really want that to be 128. So that will actually work, won't it? Because 16, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 128, that will perfectly fill this gap. That means I can never overfill it with one thing, is my concern. So this will work. I just need to put a precision export bus here. I need to, this will be wired over the top, so I didn't need to dig through the floor. I need to put a level emitter pointing down at it. I do because of that. I need to put an import bus on this side, but I'm going to twiddle it away just for now because I'm going to just pop that over the top like that. Now what I want this to export are low voltage transformers and solar arrays. Four more are in and I can pop those in. It has quickly made two low voltage solar arrays. I'm going to grab those, excuse me, and twiddle these around. So that will now import those. Note you need to be facing that way. So I always want to make exactly the same 128 low voltage solar arrays. Emit when above level, only work when you've got a signal. So this will now, as soon as low voltage transformers start coming in, start making low voltage solar arrays. I have two of them there. My limit is at the minute the low voltage transformers. Those will not work. That is because I'm struggling for the copper cable. I'd quite like to get a medium voltage made this episode, if at all possible. So I've got a load of copper cable right there. Not enough to actually make the entire thing. I do have... Um, oh. Right, we can run down and do it all downstairs. A zombie is about. Right, what I need is to grab some of that. Did I not grab the other one? Apparently not. I could really use another one of these terminals at the far end as well. Is it? I've forgotten the recipe. Oh, I've completely forgotten the recipe. Right, the recipe is for uh, the cutters. Oh, it's three and two iron ingots, is it? Right, that means I need one more. Right, three of those and two iron ingots will make me cutters, which I will chuck on the floor. Forge hammer. The forge hammer is sticks and iron. That is easy. Grab one of those. Grab some copper. A stack of copper. And those. And we can knock out that knock out a ton of that lots and lots of it and stick it all into here it should automatically spread itself out it has done good good and we are making loads and loads of coils because that is the one thing we are short of for our low voltage stuff Pop some of that in there and we shall be making extra of lots of other things, which will be good. Right, obviously that's actually importing already, so it might already have made 
some more low voltage solar arrays for all the time now. Let's oh no no don't do that. Let's turn that off. That is up to 41. Because what we are going to need is another one of these right here. Right, the power can come around the back and up through there into my second cyclic assembler. Right, this is the one with the other new schematic. It is going to have a schematic which is going to say, please take a load of low voltage solar arrays. Please take a medium voltage transformer. Now, medium voltage transformers. That is machine casings. They are working fine. I can be importing those. And that is a medium voltage transformer. Has that been set up OK? That is the one that hasn't. Again, I only want 16 medium voltage transformers at any one time. Because I now have the recipe to make medium voltage solar arrays. Tick. So that is now making medium voltage solar arrays. I now just need to connect up a precision export bus to that. This precision export bus will export medium voltage transformers and low voltage solar arrays into here. So obviously my limiting factor is a lack of the low voltage solar arrays, as you would expect. But that is fine. I've done it again. OK, so we are fine. We are low on solar panels. We, we, have we made one? We have made an entire medium voltage solar array already. That is superb. That went way faster than I thought it would. So we can now simply say that we want two stacks of medium voltage solar arrays. And that is absolutely superlative. What I am now going to do, that's filling up with those really quickly. That's starting to get those. We are getting near to the end of this episode, guys. But what I want to do is hop back upstairs and grab my wrench. Because what I want to do is replace my solar array up here. It is a little bit messy and it isn't producing that much power. Obviously these low voltage ones, I don't know if it says if you hold it over it, it doesn't, but eight um, solar panels. Each solar panel outputs one. You use eight of them to make a low voltage, so that will output eight. You use eight low voltage to out make a medium, so that will output 64. So this one thing that I'm holding in my hand is producing um, about three times, three to four times the power of this entire array. So by that logic, all of this desperately needs to come out, and I think I'm destroying these. I am. I've turned them into generators. Which is unfortunate, but that is fine. You do not want to use these with the basic wrench. I guess you need to use the electric wrench. I won't hoik those out in case I do the same. But I will pop this onto there. Now hopefully that has not just blown out everything because this should all be able to take medium voltage. It can, but that should be pumping a lot. You can see it's pumping a lot more power than it was doing into this system. That means these will all be working faster. They are just running out of power because this is draining so quickly. So as soon as I get another medium voltage, that will go up there as well. And as soon as I'm getting more power than I'm using, this will start creating things downstairs more quickly. And I can start to think about making the high voltage. So that will be it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We didn't quite get all the way up to high voltage, but we are very, very nearly there. So thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.